Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to carry on and we are going to make the mechanical squeezer. I hope we've got enough materials for that. And we're also going to make the accumulus, aqueous accumulator and some pipes. So let's get started. So we're going to start with the mechanical squeezer because it's it gives you more return than this, the manual squeezer and you don't have to jump up and down in it. So here's the mechanical squeezer and it requires Energy, battery, energy batteries. We actually need three of these things and a diamond. So the energy batteries are basically some blocks of redstone, which you should have enough, and some blocks of crystallized mineral. We're going to need three batteries. So we're going to need six blocks of this plus um, six, the 18. There's, I hope we've got enough, to be honest with you. We might have to make some. Go and do some more trees, I'm not sure. So let's have a look at the use of actually well, let's do it that way around in fact that's probably the quickest so let's have a look at the batteries we need this one so we need we need six of these we've got seven so we might have enough i want to just put one away like that put these away that gives us a quest reward because we just completed one of the quests and then we need um that's two of those per thing, isn't it well before that we need some redstone blocks let's go back over here and do it this way around to go So we need three um, three of these. Let's just split this up like that. When you press shift, it then goes into the chest, as you see. So we've got three of those. So I th hope we've got enough. So we need that plus that, half of those there. And then we just need some, mm, we haven't got quite enough. I need six more, don't I? <laughs> so I get two batteries. It actually takes quite a lot of effort to get these things, so I'll be honest with you. So we've got two batteries, so then we can have a look at doing the squeezer. So with the squeezer, we've got almost everything I need, but we need some obsidian. Obsidian, we can do quite easily. We can actually do this either by using some ice charges, which we don't have yet. Or in a tempera glass, we can have a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. Without any heat, we'll produce a bucket of uh, a block of obsidian. So let's have a look. So all I need is now is a bucket of lava. Press the wrong button, sorry. <clears throat> and I've got plenty of lava in here. Each one of these is a bucket of lava. So we only need one. So I'm only going to make one. So first of all, we'll select the recipe we want to do. If we want to do a lava, this one here. And then we press, we put some lava into here and then it should just make the lava if we, if we run it, which I haven't done yet. No, uh, that's wrong. Up. I need this one. Yes, let's run that. I'm surprised that would actually have worked. Never mind. So we should have in this chest now. Oh, we haven't. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Maybe I didn't get enough lava. Try that again. Take two just in case I mess it up again. So you've got to make sure you press the right button to start with. So that, this time it's, it should be running through. And we should have one obsidian in this chest. Fantastic, we have got it now. Phew. <laughs> so now we can actually should be able to make up the, the mechanical squeezer. We need the original squeezer, which we've got here. So let's break this. So that I think is all we need. We've got one, we've got some diamonds, so that's good too. But I was thinking about using those diamonds to upgrade the, um, yes, I was indeed. I wanted to upgrade the, the sluice to a diamond sluice. So I haven't got enough diamonds now for that. So the next thing we need is some way of powering this up. And it has a generator in this pack. So that that's the drying basin and we need the generator. I don't actually, they look, fairly, they look almost um, identical, don't they? Energy batteries, logic programs. So if we have a look at the uses of the energy battery, we should see the generator. So it's basically, it's a furnace and energy battery will produce a generator. So we haven't quite got enough. We're just short of these six crystallized mineral. I'll be back in a second with these ones as soon as I've got them. Well, I was lucky it took two trees. Um, normally it takes longer than that. So let's just do the furnace, the energy battery. Let's do this one first of all. Click that into position. Then we should be able to do the uses of that. Press right click it, sorry, uses of this one. And then we can make the, the, the generator here because it's a powered thing, this is. So we've now got our generator. So now we can do this automatically. So let's go and put this somewhere else. 
I don't want it too far away. We'll just do it, say, here. It'll probably be fine. So we can put down the generator, and beside that, we can put the mechanical squeezer like this. And we can then put some fuel into the generator. Any fuel will do. So we will use... I've got some charcoal around here. I've got some blocks of coal. I won't use that. I'll just make some, take some charcoal out of here. If I haven't got any, we'll just... Uh, oh, you've got 14. It'll do fine. And then you can put this into here, and that's going to produce this heat, as you can see. And then we, the mechanical squeeze will work. So we can actually automate this as well. So you don't have to go putting in each item individually. So one of the things you can do is actually wood. So let's take the wood out of here. Uh, got 39 planks. And then we can simply put this into the mechanical squeeze like this. And it's going to squeeze these. And you can see we're now getting crystallized mineral chunks is the only way to do it. So this is the, so we're getting some mineral resin in here as well. So we've got 11 buckets by the looks of it from that, from those, those items. And then we're getting energy. So the energy's run out, as you can see, it's going slow, but we're getting plenty of crystallized mineral chunks now, which is really part of the thermal dynamics requires a lot of in, integrated dynamics requires quite a lot of those, obviously. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the aqueous accumulator because that's done. So the aqueous accumulator is this recipe here. So this one is from thermal series, which used to be thermal dynamics, didn't it? So it needs copper glass, one bucket, and one of these redstone servos, which is a cast iron and two redstone. We can do that, no problem at all. So we can do that one. So we should be able to then do the aqueous accumulator like that. So we now have our aqueous accumulator. And then we'll, <clears throat> what we want to do after we've got the aqueous accumulator is to get some pipes. So we get a fluid pipe. So that's two buckets, some iron and some redstone, and I'm missing some iron. Well, I'm actually not missing the iron. I've just left it in this chest here. We've got uh, almost six stacks in there. Five and a half, anyway. So let's go and do that one again. Pipes. We've got item pipes. We'll do this as well. So we'll get some item pipes. And we'll do the fluid pipes, which is actually a request. Yeah. And I think that was also a quest. So let's go and have a look at the quest now while we've done that. So we're still stuck in here. We've still got the next one up would be the diamond. <clears throat> sluice. So let's go back here and have a look at uh, the integrated dynamics. So from integrated we've got the mineral, mineral sapling, we've got this block of crystalline which gives us a random reward which is a stomatic. Okay we can use that, <laughs> not that much use um, since we've already got one, um, but it's well so look, the durability is 104 and this one's 85 so maybe it's better because that's wood and stone. So we can use that one instead. Um, and then the other quests we've completed were miscellaneous. So we've got these two pipes here. So again, and that's probably a random reward. Silicon, that's uh, good, but we can't use it yet. Well, we can't use it and we shouldn't use it either. So what have we got here? Uh, for the pipes, we've got a pink laser lens. Let's put these items in oh, wrong, wrong chest. I should move it because I can't see this chest here. So we've got this this one, we'll keep the matter because we can actually do that in 32 silicon. So now let's go and put down the accuracy accumulator. So it's one, one shameful thing is that it wants to go here, underwater. So we can put it underwater. I'm not going to put it down just yet. First of all, we need another diamond to convert that sluice into a diamond sluice. For diamonds, we need gravel. Let's get some gravel out. I should have some gravel in one of these. Oh. Tons of gravel. I don't know what I'm asking about where I've got it. We need five stacks. One, two, three, four, five. And that'll fill up this hopper. And probably could put it into the chest as well. With that amount of time, uh, we should get plenty of stuff. Have we got any in here? No, we haven't. I'm going to take this out here and then I'm going to simply right click this the, and get rid of what we've got already. So that we'll get rid of some of this stuff. So I'm just right clicking it. We'll fill up the, the holes which have been filled in already. So we've got a couple more we'll do. We'll do some silver chunks which haven't been put away and copper chunks as well. So let's put those up. Doesn't really matter where I suppose. Let's get rid of those and then silver chunks. What else have we got in here? We've got some uranium chunks. And some nickel chunks, let's put those in somewhere else. 
And what else we got? Some aluminium chunks. Obviously, we haven't got any aluminium chunks, and otherwise, it would have been taken from this, from the, from here. So let's take all of this stuff out here now. We should be able to put it all in, except for bone meal. We haven't got bone meal put in here, so let's put some bone meal in one of these. Hopefully that is enough now, so we, so everything that comes in will automatically be fed through. So what I can then do is anything that doesn't come in here, we'll just put an item pipe on the end of this here, like... No, we, we, need another, we need another one of these. I forgot what I'm doing. So hold on a second. So we'll need another um, storage drawer. Hopefully I've got a single storage drawer strip. These are two by twos. I just want a single storage drawer. So that is one chest. Where are my chests? Here we go. So one chest surrounded by over two strips of logs on top of planks on top of it. And that will give us a single drawer like that. And we want a chest as well. So we've got some chests. Good. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to put this, we have, we've still got plenty of spaces. It's up to 12, and we haven't got a 12 yet. Oops, wrong one. <clears throat> so we put this down here like this. That connects in. And then what we can do with this, we can take an item pipe. So we've got some, we've got the item pipes with this. Oh, what I haven't done is actually produce a wrench, and that's essential. So we can put the wrench, and then we can put, in fact, what we can do is put the chest on top of this one like this. And then we'll drag that drag this pipe up one here like that and say so just the cost of one pipe so we need to make the wrench otherwise it doesn't connect the wrench is two sticks and two flints and the reason i know that is i had to go make some flints before i started <laughs> so the wrench can we see the wrench yes we can it's part of pipes so we can do this wrench no problem at all and what you have to do is shift click the end that you want as the output end. So let's come along here. And then it gets a sort of a T shape or flange, a flange shape. So shift right, shift right click that there. And so anything coming into this chest will automatically put, be put into the top here like that, which is empty for the time being. We have got, we haven't probably run out of water thinking about it. Oh no, we haven't yet. So. I'll simply hold this, I'll just simply hold this down. What I'm going to use an empty hand probably best. Grind this up a bit faster. So we need four diamond chunks. So I'll tell you what, I should be back when we've got four diamond chunks. So to make things faster, I've got two sluices running at the same time. <clears throat> we actually have the four diamond chunks now. So let's take these out of here. So we've actually got four. So we can then process these. Let's get them. Let's make this actually just press K, don't we? That brings one of those. And we can then put this through here. So that's in there. And then we can simply change the recipe so we get diamonds. Run that. And once it's run through once, we can stop it so we don't get more. It doesn't try to keep running on diamonds. We maybe want lava. Actually, generally want lava as it happens. So that's done. So we've got our diamond, great. So we can now stop this one. So, so we've got enough diamonds now to upgrade one of these sluices. In fact, the one I want to upgrade is this one. So I'm just gonna break it. We'll lose the water, but it doesn't make any difference because we're gonna replace all the water for what we've got already. We get the diamond um, uh, mesh. So let's put the diamond mesh in the other one while that's running through, actually. That'll be faster, won't it? Get the gold one out get better return for the stuff that's already running in there so now with the where's the sluice gone i've got too much stuff in my inventory haven't i let's just empty out some of this stuff we've got coal oh that'll do fine gravel plenty of gravel okay good so so here's the sieve let's have a look at the uses of the sieve and let's see if we can just simply click it into place so we've got our three our three diamonds which have been used so now we can simply put this down here and instead of using the the manual pump we can get rid of that if you want an axe fine 
like that. We can put down the aqueous accumulator here in the, on this spot here. Oops, just get the thing into my hand, that is. Um, tell you what, let's put the sluice down first. So we put the sluice down here. It, sh it won't get anything until this starts to run. Of course, we've swapped out the two things, but we want to get the aqueous accumulators just to go down here. It doesn't take any power. So that's now filled up. So we just need one piece of pipe, and that should cross connect across. I think it's that way around. Maybe it doesn't look like it's connecting. Let's just try it on this side. It's certainly got water in it. Oh yes. Okay. So <laughs> okay. So I'll have to move this one like that. So we could basically put it on the side. So if I put another piece of pipe down here, that'll connect across like that, and then we can put in to there the accumulator. Oops, messing around a bit. I think all we have to do is put it like that, and that should connect in. If not, I'm going to have to turn it around and do it from the other side. <laughs> That's not very good. So we just put it down here. Where's the block? And that should actually connect it in. I'm not sure it hasn't. Maybe we have to use the wrench to connect it in. Or maybe we have to move it one block further away. I don't know. So if we press shift right click on this one. No, it's not working. <laughs> let's break this again. And put the let's do it the other way around this time. So we'll put this down, break that one, come over this side and put it down here. I shouldn't have so much difficulty with it, should I? So where's it gone to? And then we should be able to connect the pipe onto this. Shift right click the pipe onto that. It's not connecting in, is it? Let's move it one block back. One block back. I'm sure there's two. Actually, I thought you could connect it to the top, to be honest with you. Now, try this. Well, it looks like it's connecting in, but it doesn't, hasn't connected onto it, has it? So let's just... Can we shift right click this into place? No, it's not working. Oh, I don't think it's getting fluid. So I'm doing something strangely wrong. Let's try that again. Big X. Maybe we just have to put it on the side of this. I'm... That's definitely not connecting in, is it? So let's just... And a pipe on the top doesn't work. Pipe on the side doesn't work. Where's, where's the face that I have to put it onto? Nope. That's strange. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I thought it was just as simple as that. Um, the only side, the only one face I haven't tried is the one below it. I'll tell you what, let's pick it up again. And try putting, oh, these are item pipes. That's the reason why it's not working. Oh, I am daft. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Oh, pickaxe, huh? I thought I was going crazy, but I'm not really. So there we are, fine, thank you. So we'll just put a fluid pipe on top of this one now. And then we should be able to put the aqueous accumulator just below it. Yes, that's better, phew. And right click that and then that should now get water as we have as you can see well that was hard work so all we now need to do is put in a, a mesh we'll take the we'll take the gold swap these over for the gold mesh put the diamond mesh into this one so it does the maximum stuff and as soon as i do that it start it's going to start work and i don't have to do anything with this at all again except for to fill up this chest and this chest we couldn't be I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I think for the time being we'll just get it filled up with gravel. That was a bit of a dirt, wasn't it? Never mind. We do things like that from time to time. So might as well click that quest one with my way here. So let's get rid of that one. Um getting started, so that's the diamond sluice, which presumably oh it actually gives you compressed materials and a random reward which in this case is not telling me planters 
No, I'm Planta Strides Sash. There's another bit I don't think I pronounced that right. <laughs> I will be honest with you. Well, none of these, we, we can keep those, but we'll put this the sash away here. But it's actually time we started to do some Britannia. So let's get started with that. So, for Britannia, let's have a look. The easiest way to f figure this out is by going through the quest book here, um, through the quest book. That gives you the steps. In fact, I've already opened up this one. So we need some floral fertilizer. And for that, we need some bone meal and four dyes. So dyes are basically going to come from flowers to start with. So we'll, oh, and that'll give us some seeds. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> okay, so we need to make some hopper bonsai hopping pots. I want to make, in that case, I would like to make an extra one because we'll want the seeds for wheat. Um, that's actually one of the problems with we can res with one of the major problems for um, for us to be able to carry on and make a nature's uh, seed. Well, actually, any of the mystical agriculture seeds we can do. So I want to make some farmland, first of all, which we shall do with a... I should have the... Have I got it with me? Oh, yes. A bronze hoe. That'll make... We've got six of those. I would like to make another hopping bonsai pot. So let's make another hop. Have we got enough materials for that? Now I'm missing some iron. I'll just get the iron out of here. I just got some out a minute ago, but I used up I used up quite a lot to take this stack of iron out of here. And then we should be able to make this one up. So that gives us six. So we would like to make six hopping bonsai pots. Which we should be able to do like that. And then we can just put those down with these dies. I'm going to put down one one die per per chest. So I'll just do them here for the time being. They don't need to be part of that other row, so I just need some chests. So we can put down six of these. Now I'm shifting to do that, to be honest with you. And if you want to get one in front of it, just press shift and it'll won't link in like that. And then we can put the hopping bonsai pots on top of those. And into those hopping bonsai puts, we can put some farmland. And then we should be able to put a flower in each one of these. So let's start with the, the red flower. And then we got 13. Oops, wrong one. Let's take that out of there. Can I not get it out? I have to break it. Okay, I have to break it. I've got the red flower, so let's put down the hopping bonsai pot again. No, actually, these used to be ones I put, didn't they? Put the blue flower in there. Get rid of that out of the hot bar. Yellow one, so we'll put the yellow one next. What else do we have now? We've got a oxide daisy. It sounds like... Actually, I want my one death was because of an enderman. Oh, there's two of them here. So let's go and see if we can grind these endermen while they're here. I just stand here. Just, maybe you can see me. No, you can't see me. That one should be able to see me. Yes, he's, he's aggroed. So he can't reach me, but I can reach him. As long as he doesn't run away, we should be able to kill him quite happily with the axe. It's got a reasonable amount of damage, the axe. All right, there we are. One, there's one. There's the other one. Aggroid. But what happened to me last time is he, I couldn't get the um, him to come to me, so I went out and he just killed me in one hit. <laughs> there we go. So I've got another ender, ender, ender pearl, which is great. So let's put those in there like that. See this this creeper over here? He can't see me, which is great. We can just hit him, and maybe he comes across here a bit more. Then he gets, then he gets on that. It's fine. So what I do need, by the way, is some of this um, mob salt. And I want an even number, so we just put one of those away, like that. Right. So carry on. Getting distracted from what I was doing. So we've got four of these plants and we just need to put the fifth one in what's the fifth one oxide daisy have i got the oxide daisy in i have yes um there's another one. One, two, three, four. Oh, maybe i miscalculated oh there's no dirt in there that's what the problem is
Oh, that was better. So well, these are going to basically produce flowers. So from the, as you can see, we've already got two of these. So we can then um, take these and then we oops, sorry, we can then press these and make these into colours. We need four colours per item, so that will give us four fertilizers. So let's make those fertilizers to start with. So we need it. I don't think it's shapeless crafting. So we get four of those from that one. We can make the. We can do that for the yellow dye as well. Let's just put that to down like this and just spread these around a bit. And it doesn't have to, it doesn't even matter which color we're using. Uh, I didn't convert those to colors, did I? I must have to do it that way then. Let's just convert everything to colors. And then try that again. Oops, that's too many, it won't work. Doing the same daftness again, so sorry about that. Let's put those down. Oh, they can't go in. We can do this though. Pretty sure it doesn't matter what colours we're using. Right, so we've got 14 of these fertilisers. So we just come along here somewhere that's fairly free. And just put these down. We should get a reasonable selection of flowers. Okay, that's them done. So now we just harvest these up. <clears throat> Do we need to use the scythe? I think we can just... Yes, that's fine. Let's just... It's the large ones you need to, the tall ones you need to use a scythe, uh, a scythe um, shears for. So we've got these. I need to go and find another chest. Let's put them down somewhere. I'm wandering around a bit aimlessly. I think we'll do it over here. So let's just take a chest. We've got chests. Let's try that again. And we'll put these, we'll put the flowers into that. Not the pickaxe doesn't work. The sixteen, so we let's just sort my inventory out now. So we, it's a bit better. Right, good. Sorry. Did we get one of each? Yes, we did. We got one of each. So any of these which we've got a few of, which is the white, the lime mystical flower, will take one of those. We shall grind this up to two leaves. Put the, the two leaves down and get some bone meal. I've still got some bone meal. It's in the this, this table here, isn't it? So I put these two down. So just that you can just see them doing their business. And then we can just take the bone meal. Oh, what did I do with that bone meal? I can see it in the chest here stack of it that's fine and then we just grow some tall ones like that break and then break those two. Oh, that's where i needed some shears um that was a very big mistake <laughs> okay oh, i don't know why i haven't got shears with me actually oh maybe oh, the scythe would have done this as well we'll try that again with the scythe rather than make shears so what i've got boom i just need another flower try that with one this time Try it again. Just use the scythe this time. Yeah, that's working better. So then we've got these two tall plat ones, which gives us four each. So we get eight, so we can put these down. And then we just, we just do these up. Like that. And then we can simply hold down the grab key and just pick up those and so we've got eight of those now so that's the first part of this so the second part was to make we've got that quest completed let's claim that one what do we get for it we get some wheat seeds which is actually a, a we can use those because it's a dedicated uh, reward and we get a reward okay material stone work factory which i'm not ready to use yet so we'll put that one away but the wheat seeds we are definitely going to use so let's put where did it disappear to here we go 
I put away the old mechanical pump in here, by the way. So the last of these is the wheat seed, isn't it? So let's put down and the farmland. Oh, did I lose the farmland? Oh, that's interesting. When I broke the I bought it and lost it. No, I can't be right. So we just need another piece of dirt. We'll just hoe that together. In fact, if I'm actually sensible, I'll put it with some inferior essence as well. A wrong hoe. And then we get some inferior farmland. Advantageous to do this because things grow slightly faster, not much faster. Oops. Didn't go... Ah! Because it's already in the hot pot. That's a bit of a nuisance, actually, because you can't break this. We just get... Oh, we did actually. In this, this case, we did get it back. Normally, you don't get it back. But I think there's a way to get this out of here. I just don't, haven't figured out how to do it. Um, maybe we need an empty hand or something like this. No. Shift right... Oh, shift right clicking with an empty hand. Got it out. Fantastic. So... We can then put this far, actually I can do with this one, can't I? Take this farmland here, put some inferior essence with it, and then we get inferior farmland, and then we can plant the seed on that. Like that, and that should go slightly faster. In fact, I've got some more farmland here as well. Let's do, do the same thing for this one, because I've got two of those, and take out the shift right clicking there again. And then we can put that one in there. So for the next seed, I must have miscalculated somewhere along there. Well, of course, what we can then do is to take any of these mystical flowers, like the brown flower here, because we've only got one of those. We can put that into here, and that should grow as well, as you can see. So we, I'll replace all these other other ones, except for the wheat, for um, for mystical agriculture flowers between episodes, because we've got them all. So that's it. That's hard work. So we now need to make go back to the go back to the quest again. So we need now need to make a petal apothecary apothecary and have a look at that. So that's this recipe. So stone slags and a it doesn't matter what colour the, the petal is. So we've got some petals with us. I hope. No, we haven't broken this up yet, have we? So this time we can go back to the quest and then you should be able to do it as I'm looking at it here. I hope. Oh, no, I can't do it. I've got to do it. So we need some cobblestone slabs. Cobblestone should be in here. I'm using up cobblestone and putting it in funny places. I'm so it's one of those funny things you got. We've got tons of it and I'm never finding it. <laughs> so I have to go and get some out of the chest here. Don't ask me what I'm doing with that. So then we make some slabs. So we should be able to make the petal, petal apothecate it's like this, isn't it? I'll learn how to pronounce it in a minute. Okay, good. So that's that quest then. And what we can do... Oh, I didn't pick up all those flowers. Okay, so we've actually got another brown one. So we've got no sp inventory space. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down here, but it, it's a good idea to make a water source. So let's just quickly make a water source somewhere near this. Um, where am I going to make the water source? Probably can do it underneath here like this. So if I break up these four blocks, there's no reason why I shouldn't have a water source, a water block underneath that, and then get two buckets of water. I've got one over here, as you can see. Oops, I really am suffering with my inventory at the moment, so sorry. Apologises. Apologies. Let's get rid of this stuff that I don't want, and I should be able to take this one. But I should go and get those flowers before they despawn as well. <clears throat> right, so let's take one of those buckets in there. And the other one over here. Like that, and that's our water source. There's three flowers here, and I've only got two spaces, or even less. Actually, I've got two spaces, yeah. Right, sorry, <laughs> I'll be back. I'm wandering forwards and back, backwards and forwards all the time, aren't I? Let's get rid of those because I want those, but not in there at the moment. And I can put the tall ones away as well. I'm just going to get this yellow one. Right, so now we can make our daisy. We've got the wheat seeds already, so that's one essential item. And we need four petals, which I've just I've got there. So we need a bucket of water into here first of all. Let's just put 
let's do it like this put that away we want the seeds we want a bucket of water I'll only take one bucket it's easier put that into here put four seeds into this where are they uh, four petals I've only got three I need a fourth what happens to the other petal then oh, I used it for making the um the wrong one it's one of these tall ones So, I just drop them in with Q, don't I? That's right, and then put into, and put into that a seed. Let's just drop a seed in. Oh, what's wrong with that? Oh, I, have to th I thought I just th tried to throw the seed in it. Hold on a second. Right-clicking doesn't work. That's strange. What am I doing wrong? It doesn't seem to want to go into the into the thing. Um, I'll be back in a second. Well, you know what I did. I was being daft again. <laughs> I need to use white petals for doing that. So let's just put these white petals down here. And then, <laughs> oh, well, that's one of those days, isn't it? So let's okay, do that one. And then we just take this, get those picked up. And then we need one of those. We can make four, four white petals. They have to be white petals for the white daisy, which I suppose in a way is obvious, isn't it? Let's come back up here. So this time I've got I've got the tick and the seed, so that's good. So let's put a seed in there, and then we've got our and we've got our pure daisy. Fantastic. So all we need to do now is put this down somewhere, and then we can make our we can make whatever we want to. So if we've got some wood, we can make some wood. I've probably got plenty of wood around here. I wonder if it works with mineral logs because I've got stacks of that. Yes, it's working with that because you can tell by the particles. And the other thing I need is stone, don't I? So, which is great. All right, let's put let's get this another one of these put into that like that. So let's have a look at the quests that we've got from that that one because we've we've done another quest, haven't we? We've done two. We've done the petal pot three, and we've got a random reward, which is a basic jetpack. We've done the um, daisy, so we've got some stone and some logs, which I haven't got space for, of course. So let's just. I should got lots of sticks. Well, I've got so many sticks from. Let's put these into here like this. Right, okay, good. So that's going to go up, and then we make some living wood with that. Uh, that. And I guess this is actually going to be give another reward as well for this. So where's the axe? I'll put this basic jet, jet pack away. This will be very, it's actually quite handy, but we can actually already make the, we can actually already make the gold one. That's no big deal. There we go. So it's now it's now converting into wood. So let's just take the axe here, pick up that stuff, and then we can use that for the CS Living Wood quest. And then we can take the stone and put the stone down here, and we'll get Living Stone. The reason I'm having to start Britannia is because I want to do um, uh, get. We need to get um, something else for the nature seeds, and the one we need to get. Let's have a quick look at this because before I forget. We want to have a look at nature seed. I know I've got one as reward, but I want to get to the stage where you... I want one of these. <clears throat> so for this, you need this agglomerate, agglomeratio, which is a pumpkin. We've got pumpkins, that's no big deal. Potato, we've got that. Sugar cane, we've got that, no big deal. Cactus is more of a problem. We need a, a slime ball. Now, slime balls we make in a... We have to use a heated thing with some water and a mushroom, red or brown, will make a slime ball. So that's the way we've got to do it. So the next thing we've got to make is some mushrooms. The recipe for those, again, is the, is nature essence and dirt essence uh, in here. So we've got to make sluice it. So we've got to sluice basically dirt with uh, a cloche meth on top of liquid modder essence. So that's how we do that. Now I need the pickaxe.
and that'll be the next of those quests done. Let's get, just claim those two rewards, because why not? Another random reward, so this time we've got an ender pouch, actually that's quite good. And I can't make an ender pouch at the moment, and this one's just a random reward, a 1k storage part. Because there's no point in having an ender pouch without an end chest <laughs> so let's put that those away and this one away i think that's everything i've got so far isn't it yes good well that's it for this episode i do hope you've enjoyed it anyway until next time i wish you all the best bye for now